all right guys welcome back to indian racing league this is division one and we are extremely sorry for the delay and at the same time we are extremely sorry that i'm streaming this on my own channel instead of the indian racing league official channel unfortunately there were some signing in issues which is a result of some bug maybe the youtube has and as such we will be live from this channel and we are in spain at the circuit de barcelona catalonia it is very very dry and very sunny right now so let's see what the rest of the session is going to be and a lot i see a lot of drivers right now on those mediums and that tells me that maybe the start of the race is going to be dry as well so with that being said let's see what happens in the next 16 and a half minutes as noah west has some choice words for me but yeah no i just couldn't help it let me know if the game audio is too loud i think it is but just let me know if it is too loud and i need to maybe lower it a little bit i think it's too loud but anyway let me know and who is starting the lap i think it is and is that HUP? No, it's not HUP. It's probably. Is it Shadow Sword? Yes, it is Shadow Sword. And he will be the first person out on track and he will be starting his hot lap. So let's see how his first attempt, maybe a banker run, goes in. He takes a little bit of the curb and. Yeah, okay, Vintage, I'll do that. I'll lower the game volume by a bit. Let me just quickly go to audio settings and change that. Oh, Nishan has been disqualified for blocking the pit lane, so well that's something new and yes abdul i am commentating solo this weekend uh, easy level bot usually who is in here with me uh, has is traveling actually right now and that's why he's not around but the show must go on epic brothers has put in a 116.3 so that is already faster than the division 2 poll time last night with a 16.4 by the mercedes of jesh kosala let's see what shadow sword on his medium tires can do as he comes across the line for his first run of the session and he goes p3 with a 118.5 i'm very very sure he is looking to go faster than that there's a hask in the line that's vio with the 117.4 on the mediums and now basil with the 117.4 very identical 700 slower than Vyom on those mediums Jin has put a 118.0 I'm sure he can go faster than that thinking Nate is in the second sector there's a huge number of cars and well, Sumer has this has invalidated his lap and Vfix is very close so I'm not sure I'm not sure if this is going to work out and Sumer across the line it is vfix is it's a 125.8 for him and he moves to the right of the track to let other cars through kill bill pande has just started his lap in fact let's go on board with kill bill pande and see what kind of lap times he does as he navigates a very tricky turn three and keeps it towards the middle of the track then goes to the left for the braking and then short shifts to fifth on exit does he go to seventh year yes he does that's interesting because i take this corner normally in the sixth year the entry itself and kill bill Bande's car is aston martin looking pretty planted here towards the end of the last season kill bill actually put in some really good performances in qualifying as well as race so he is definitely someone to watch out for i think he's yet to score a point this season but don't quote me on that I'm not a hundred percent sure but he would be hoping for a good result on this track and a good qualifying performance as well because qualifying is slightly key here especially if you're setting there are times on the mediums because you don't want to get stuck behind other cars 
it's quite tricky to overtake here except the final corner and the straight leading up to it vfx i think is just starting his lap kill pande goes p9 and vfx i think has invalidated this one as well so maybe he's just doing race runs and we'll keep an eye out on that hvp has popped up into p2 with a 116.7 not sumer on the medium so 116.9 so those are the lap times to beat for people now this is going to be a little bit of a trade-off between let's just wait for smith shark across the line he goes p10 let's see what tanish can do tanish is a very fast driver he's on those mediums as well and it will be a little bit of a trade-off for people to see what kind of strategy they want at the start of the race do they want to start on those mediums and go for a definitive one stop unless there are safety cars or they want to go on the softs and get an early advantage and probably switch on to those hard tires which will last until the end of the race that was a very nice nicely taken last chicane by tanishk and this is going to be a good lap time i think it was a purple through sector 2 tanishk p3 on the mediums wow what a time 16.8 for him and while his teammate is down in p10 tanishk has put a blinder of a lap seven minutes to go in the session and it seems like uh, tanishk might not want to go any faster than this or at least not burn this set of tires shadow sword is having issues as Tanish has put a purple's first sector so maybe it's just going for it once again there's a bit of a moment coming out of turn 5 said if you want to join I, we can still have you uh, Azun told me that you're going to be uh, race engineering for him uh, which is why I did not ask you again uh, and for some reason Suraj also wants to race engineer so yeah well I think there's a lot of scope and a lot of interest in race engineering department and that's always good to see our drivers always need help as did i yesterday when shah and nishan were helping me but watching kill Bill right now he's definitely pushing shadow sword thankfully has joined back once again now let's see what kill Bill can do oh, it's something kill Bill. oh tanish don't cut that entry but he's back in the pits is epic brothers on a lap no he's not he's backed out Vfix is still doing race runs but he's faster by 5 tenths, 5 seconds rather this time. So I don't think it's going to be competitive lap time considering the tire age and he comes back in the pits. Sonic Hawk is also not on a lap at least right now and let's see if someone is. Let, let's try to find someone who's on a lap. Is Gupta on a lap? He is invalidated and where is Vyom in all this Vyom is back in the pits and I think that's pretty much it HUP is on uh, out on an out lap and there are a lot of drivers starting the lap right now Sonic Hawk being one of them and Thinking Nate being another Thinking Nate is a reserve tonight as Ashwin Lakwani is not able to join us so let's see what Thinking Nate's first sector is going to be to the sweeping right hander where your tires absolutely scream and beg for mercy and that is one of those corners which gives you a lot of tire wear especially the front left and thinking nade navigating that rather tamely i would say i don't think he was taking optimal lines through that corner but let's see what he's going to do in this uphill chicane now this is a very tricky corner i always find it tricky because i fail to keep the car in one piece most of the time so all the chicanes here that's the first and second corner the uphill left right chicken and the final chicane if you master those you gain a lot of lap time on this track i believe is thinking nade in the third sector and let's see what is going to be behind hup is also on a lap and hup is up by three thousands in his first sector is coming up to second step draw and now he's up by one and a half tenths that is not enough to challenge to challenge epic brothers on pole but he has backed out has he no i think he's still going for it a sonic hawk has been disqualified from the session and epic brothers i think where is he he is i think just running out of the final corner no he's in the pits sonic hawk has been disqualified and hup across the line it made improvement oh it's a massive improvement in the final sector six tenths is the gap and wow what a lap from hvp 116.1 
are we going to see anyone in the 15s tonight i think we've just might so where is well he has invalidated hostov has put a purple second sector as well so and he's on the mediums so but he'll still def comfortably be in the 116s with that kind of advantage oh he goes very i think he rode that curb too high and i think he's backed out of it going back in the pits is the horse of hostov now i've got a complaint from racing gupta and vfix that i don't spectate their laps very often so i'm going to do that i'm going to spectate racing gupta and this is on the medium so he will be definitely pushing and as people in the comments are pointing out that i'm out of breath well that's what happens when yep so there you go racing gupta now through the first sector and he's is he up by some time he's up by 610 so that is a huge margin which he has and let's see what kind of lap time is going to do there is absolutely clear track ahead of him behind him you can see vfx the red dot on the mini map on the right of your screen that is vfx is also on a lap so we'll keep an eye out on him once racing gupta completes this lap but complete commitment through the turn 9 a blind right hander and racing gupta now through the second sector is up by one and a half tens where is his position is p14 so he definitely needs these sort of improvements now is this going to be enough is my question and can he break into that top 10 which will be very very helpful for his race as he navigates a final sector that was nicely done through there nailing the apexes and rounding the final corner is the Haas of Racing Gupta. Is he anywhere near his teammate? He is. He displaces his teammate. In fact, goes P5. That's a very good lap time. And VFX now, just a couple of corners away. Let's see what his Ferrari can do on those mediums. Can he challenge Tanish and Racing Gupta for the slot on the second of the grid? And he slots in just between them. It's a 116.854 so closely matched on pace these people are and not so mere well he invalidated his last lap and this lap is down by three seconds so i'm not sure it doesn't seem to have the best of the second run since collie so far so maybe he's going to come in and put another set of tires yes he is the so sumer is in is shadow sword on a lap he is on a lap and he is on the softs now so expect a lot of grip from those tires as he comes into the heart of sector two now we're getting that chicken once again riding a lot of curve but taking precaution that he does not invalidate his lap time and through the right hander now across the second sector split and is up by just about seven hundredths of a second the shadow sword is going to improve but not by much and i don't think he's going to be in the top 10 unless he has a very good third sector which is easier said than done but these division one drivers well he's coming back into the pits so never mind that vyom is up by one and a bit tense so this could be a good laugh from vyom he's also on the mediums He's also on the softs rather. So this could be a good lap time from you. But again, starting on the softs could be a disadvantage. He loses his car a little bit it seems like. And Shadow Sword has retired in the pits. And he leaves the session again. So having some connectivity issues. Vyom once again is purple through sector 2. Now I'm not sure a lot of people do actually go purple through sector 2. Or is that the game giving some kind of a glitch we'll never know and Vyom in the third sector now this once she came to go before he finishes his lap and let's see what kind of advantage he has and across the line he goes and p6 that's respectable that's a very good lap 116.8 and i see vfix and racing gupta both have set soft tires on their cars so i am not sure if 
they're going to actually do those laps or they are just going to do some kind of practice runs which i'm not 100 percent sure why they would want to do that but either ways epic brothers moving well out of the way for other cars and okay vintage player i will check uh can you so vintage can you send me a party invite uh at least send me a party invite and then see what happens uh i'll probably send an invite to the session on the formation lap or just after qualifying is over and are there any changes i think ethan oh epic brothers no was it was it kelvin pandey yes it was through the final sector not sure what happened there but wow he must have had a big big moment there and i think that is his qualifying done where are we we fix is is he still on out lap or has he already started his lap i think he is still might be on an out lap racing gupta is up by two seconds it seems like or is that no i don't think this is going to be competitive lap time from the hearth so i think they are just trying to get used to the conditions and the track right now and this is quite confusing the strategy from racing gupta and or oh, kilbil has retired from this session and shadow sword having more connectivity issues hp has invalidated his lap time what does not sumer do so he has a lot of cars in front of him that was thinking nate going off the track to as to not impede sumer's lap time and this has to count for sumer he has still a couple of cars which might prove a bit of a hindrance they are all starting the laps i believe epic brothers goes fast with 115.9 first man in the 115s are we going to see sumer in the 115s he was up by 110th in the second sector and across the line he goes it's not enough the 16.2 for sumer hp is not going to make it where is racing gupta he is not going to improve where is vfix vfix is improving as hushrav has joined our 20th driver of the day so vfix has actually i think he's going to go for it and maybe back out at the last moment if if he thinks that it's enough but let's see there are a lot of drivers yet to complete their lap time hushrav being one of them the first one to now cross the line and hushrav is going to be p2 front row for hushrav still not in the 115s just yet jen across the line it puts him p6 on those softs and what does vfix do now vfix is coming back in the pits so he has backed out and p9 for vfix seems to be satisfactory for the ferrari driver is anyone else on a lap i think racing gupta is down on his time he might probably back out as well because he doesn't yeah he's backing out switch on the mediums and he's on three lap old mediums so i don't think this is going to be competitive either epic brothers in the pits thinking nate will cross the line in fact so let's see what thinking nate's time is going to be across the line goes p12 displaces smith shah who is in the pits so that is the end of qualifying epic brothers and hushrav on the front row hp not sumer vyom and basil behind them jin also in p7 that's a good qualifying session tanishk in p8 the 16.8 and i think those that was on the mediums vfix also on the mediums in p9 and url ethan p10 and racing gupta and everyone below him will have free tire choice so that sets up the interesting grid ushrav on front row with epic brothers and there you see vfix and vfix and tanishk being the only two drivers on the mediums in the top 10 and there will be utkash who will join us at the back of the grid so we will have full 20 drivers joining in and please bear for a few seconds as i try sending an invite if i can i still can't but at least let me see if i can add vintage player to the party and 
there you go vintage should be in pretty soon and we'll see if we can join in for comms yeah i'm in i'm in all right hello vintage how are you doing hi i'm good how are you i'm good vintage out of breath as you noticed and yeah i think you have the stream on in the background so that's good uh, we'll wait for a minute or so vintage uh, before we go because i think the cars are still driving around the track and once we are on the formation lap i will try to send you a lobby invite as well Right, so while we wait for people to just sort this out, can you check if your audio sharing is on, Vintage, so people can hear hear you on the stream? And I will request yeah, I people who are watching to also just quickly confirm to us yeah, if... Yeah, let me know if you can hear me. Yeah. Yeah, someone will let us know pretty soon. They're having some issues with... Yeah, it's good the lobby so right so abhi is just confirmed uh, they can hear you and let's see that was a brilliant brilliant lap from epic brothers i mean going in yeah 159 i mean that is a monster of a lap no one uh, in the 115s except him and Yeah, Epic Brothers has shown to be very, very good in qualifying, and the race pace as well. Let's see what he can do. Uh, he's on a strategy which is probably a two-stop, but maybe they can put uh, one-stop work as well. I think the medium runners will do it unless they have conditions like we had yesterday in G1. Right. So we don't know what's the race weather. but let's see i think everyone is stuck and we might have to restart the lobby here so for people who are watching there might be another stream coming because i can't even leave this lobby without closing the game itself so <laughs> that's a disruption and i'm sorry for that but that's the code masters for you All right so vintage did you race yesterday take us through your race yesterday uh, were you in the race how was your race and what happened just take us through it and how do you like this track as well actually i used to like this track in uh, 2020 but in 2021 they made it really tough due to the curbs and my mm -hmm. race was uh, <clears throat> laughable yesterday uh, i had a good position <laughs> what happened uh, before the first pit stop but after the first pit stop i went for enters with swag and ultimate we look like fools there for 5 laps <laughs> lost all positions and then the rest is history yeah it never actually uh, you know went to inters conditions it basically it was very tempting I, to go on the inters especially in the later stages of the race but I'm speaking i think the game glitched because for uh, it started raining on lap 5 until lap 33 it was raining There's yep. not a single iota of loss of grip even on the mediums. I mean, everyone was still doing one nineteen, one twenty. Right. So we have to restart the lobby, unfortunately, and which is why uh, we'll have to end the stream. But we'll come back on the same channels. I'll probably put a link in Discord when that happens. Uh, but I'm ending the stream. I'll see you in the next one. Sorry for that inconvenience. we uh you're still not in the lobby right uh hang on okay vintage can you just dm me on discord uh what i will do